Hey Collective Family and welcome back to my channel Empress Intuition 1111. I hope you guys are all doing well today, feeling well and doing well wherever you are. We are going to hop into the channel messages to see what comes out. I was getting lots of messages but you guys could be seeing a lot of birds right now and the black Gillian chick represents your wings already exist. You don't need them to fly or your wings already exist. All you need to do is fly. Okay, so you might be afraid of doing something or you might be like worried about a situation or a certain outcome. But I was picking up that somebody could be crying over you or sad, but they're not sorry. They're only sorry because they got caught or you caught on to something. Okay, take that high resonate. Yeah, someone needs to pick up their feelings. Someone wants you to leave the door open with Bruno Mars and someone feels like you deserve something. And people keep calling your phone. They just won't leave you alone. It's always a forever another. So it's always like another person forever calling your phone. And someone likes to keep bringing up your past. They keep trying to ridicule, ridicule you, criticize you, run your name through the mud. Somebody keeps bringing up your past and trying to make you like a bad person. They also tried to do like a um, humiliation spell, but it has backfired. I've seen 112 on the timer. And someone's going through a 211, which is a family crisis. Someone's receiving a fall from grace at this time. Their name could be Ashley, Stacy, Veronica, Skylar, Tim, or Jada, or someone named Nancy. And when you're doing your readings, you actually see the spirits that you're channeling. That's not for everyone, but that could be for someone. And be careful because someone could be trying to do a home invasion, like break into your home. And someone can also be like breaking into cars, stealing shit. Or trying to see what people have in their cars okay so make sure you lock your car doors if you have a car and make sure you um like protect your car and stuff like that because i was really picking up on somebody trying to like break into somebody's car or steal a spare key to your car take that how it resonate but i was picking up on that real heavy or your car could have broke down as well or you might need a jump or something like that 511 but yeah i just seen 209 on the timer but yes, I do call upon all my Archangel Michael, all, okay, Archangel Michael. And I did see 444 when I was driving, and then when I came back, I seen 555. So you could be receiving some kind of change as well, 222. You're in the right alignment for the change. Whatever God is trying to bring towards you, you are in the alignment, okay? You are protected while doing it. But 606 came out as well. I feel like the past could be trying to slow you down or hold you back from, like, what God is trying to steer you towards, Okay. So don't let nobody steer you wrong. Never let a stray lead the way is also what I'm hearing, okay? Yeah, 245 on a timer. Holy Spirit, what's the energy for the collective? What does the collective need to know right now? What does my beautiful collective need to know? Yeah, the devil, Capricorn energy, okay? So a Capricorn could be like stalking you, watching you, or a Capricorn could be doing like humiliation spells. Or I feel like this Capricorn is receiving a fall from grace at this time. Yeah, nine of swords energy. This person's life path number nine or the month of September. Something could have changed for this person. Okay, or their birthday could be the ninth of any month. Okay, take that high resonate. Yeah, the queen of wands. They could have tried to do something shady towards a queen of wands. 323 on the timer. Okay, so they could have tried to do something sneaky. But I'm also hearing whatever they tried to do to you, they threw lemons at you, but you made lemonade. Okay, you came out of something successful. Challenge accepted, okay? Eight of Cups energy. You're not worried about the past. You're not looking back at nothing, okay? You're walking away from a situation. You see all the cups that were once up are now like, you know, like, oh, well, you know, it's just a cup. People come and go, okay? Yeah, but this is leaving these people a Ten of Swords energy. It's making your enemies feel very annoyed, aggravated, irritated because you walked away from something, okay? that no longer has served you and they don't like the fact that you leveled up. Yeah, the hang dragon. Somebody's feeling stuck right now because they have like nowhere to go. They know they can't manipulate you. Okay, 611 on the timer. Yeah. The seer of cups. Okay, you could be a water sign as well. But somebody knows they cannot play a Scorpio or play a queen of wands. Somebody knows that you know something. Yeah, ace of cups. They know that your love overflows and they're trying to also block your love life. But they know that you have a lot of love. You had a lot of love for this person, but they see now that you walked away. That Ace of Cups is in reverse now, okay? With the Seven of Pentacles, you're just focused on your stability, your finances, your money. You can also be an, another earth sign that's working on your finances, okay? Your stability. You knew that this person wasn't, you know, fit in for that Six of Wands. Yeah, you left, this, you left these people, this person behind. You took some kind of leadership on something. 
You can also be a life path number six, a life path number seven, or a life path number 10. Or your birthday could be in the month of October, June, or July. Take that how it resonates. Yeah, the lovers. This is definitely Gemini energy. This person is either a Gemini or they're dealing with the Gemini or they left you for a Gemini or this person is two-faced as hell. Or this is just a past person that's crying over you. They wish they would have kept, you know, seven of cups. Yeah. They wish they would have chose a better option. They feel like they chose wrong. Okay. Seven of cups, their options are like not as good as you. Okay. It doesn't get as good as you. Eight of swords. Yeah. Somebody feels stuck and defeated. They feel like they can't get out of something. I feel like the person they chose over you, they're stuck with that person. Yeah. Six of pentacles. This is definitely a past person. With you, this person was a nine. Now this person is a six. So they went down. So they could have like downgraded, you know, like to like a lower version of you or somebody that they thought was better than you, but it's not. Hmm. Okay, Holy Spirit, what's the energy for the collective? What does my collective need to know? Crystal clear messages for the collective, please. What is the devil energy? Yeah, destruction, releasing your anger. Yeah, this person's angry as hell. Like I said, they're mad because they can't control you. Somebody's upset because you walked away and you bettered yourself. You don't want nothing to do with this person. 616 on the timer. 16 is the card. Your birthday could be the 16th or something, or you could have walked away or did something differently on the 16th, or karma's at play right now, okay? What is the energy? What's the nine of swords energy for the collective? Yeah, transcendence, number 10. You're achieving success. You're getting through obstacles, okay? You could have overcame a major obstacle last month in the month of October. Okay, take that how it resonates. But yeah, you're in a nine of swords energy right now, transcendence. You are transcending and ascending to a higher level. This person don't like that. Okay, they could just, all they do is see you a 10. I'm also hearing you a, you a 10 out here. Somebody mad because you a 10. And when they was with you, they're not allowed to see you at your best self. But when they was with you, you was looking good. But now that they're away from you, you look even better. They don't like that. What's the Queen of Wands energy? They feel like somebody else is better than them. They feel like somebody else is better. Yeah, enlightenment moving forward. Yeah, you have some kind of enlightenment about a person or about a group of people or a situation. The October 23rd could be significant or on the 23rd of November, something's going to come to this Queen of Wands. Some kind of message or something you're going to get. Okay, something's going to be enlightened to you around the 23rd of uh, November. You're going to get some kind of enlightenment, like around Thanksgiving or something. What's the Eight of Cups? What's leaving something behind? Yeah, this is you, Collective. <clears throat> you're walking away. You're leaving things behind. Surrender, letting go. You let go of the darkness so your light can shine bright. Oh, I'm dropping the cards. Okay. But yeah, you you let go of some kind of darkness so your light can shine bright. You could be a light worker or like an earth angel energy, okay? You can also be 28 or the person that you walked away from could be 28. Or your birthday could be the 28th of any month. Clarify the Ace of Cups, please. Yeah, Ace of Cups, miracles, making a difference. Yeah, God is making miracles, miracles in motion. You, the world needs you because you're making a difference to the world, okay? You could be a life path number five or the month of May could be very significant. Or your birthday could be the fifth of any month. Take that high resonate. Or you might get some good news. You might get some, you might receive some kind of miracle or you could have already received a miracle um, November 5th, like the other day, like around the election. Okay. Or you might be really happy about the election and who became president or something like that. You could be really happy about that too. Yeah, the self, gathering your power. Yeah, somebody tried to take your power. They tried to put you in a ten of swords energy, but they feel defeated because they wasn't able to take your power or take your knowledge or they wasn't able to control you, okay? They wasn't able to feed off you. That's also what I'm getting. The month of December could be very significant or somebody could be a life pack number 12 or the 12th of any, or, the, or your birthday could be the 12th of any month, okay? But December is really heavy right now. Yeah, Capricorn energy. Um, What's the hang one? Clarify the hang one for the collective. What's the hang one, please? 919 on the timer. Clarify the hang one. What is the hang one? They don't want you to know. <laughs> Somebody don't want you to be in their energy, but they too busy trying to be all up in yours. Thank you. Period. We gonna know the truth. Vision. Contemplating your future. Yeah, somebody tried to dictate your future and contemplate it for you, or they want to make you pick them, the hang one. This person knows that you just chilling. This could be this person feeling stuck and crying over you, okay, because you walked away. Or this is you chilling right now, contemplating your options because you got seven of cups out here. You got many options, okay? 
you're looking good, feeling good, you're doing good. You can also be a life path number one, a seer, a visionary. The month of January can be very significant. Okay, well, you're number one out here. Um, I'm hearing five minus four is one, and you're that bitch. Five minus four is one. Yeah, five minus four is one, and I'm that bitch. I'm hearing that right now. Okay, what's the six of cups, the seer of cups? What's the Scorpio energy? Freedom. You broke the chains. You broke a generational curse. Somebody wanted you chained to them, bound to them. Somebody wanted you to be stuck. And they're mad because you're not stuck to them. You broke free from a situation. You could be 24, they could be 24. Or you could have broke free on the 24th of any month. Or your birthday could be the 24th of any month. Or November 24th around Thanksgiving, this person might try to come back around. Okay? Clarify the seven of pentacles for the collective. What is the seven of pentacles? 1045 on the timer. What is the seven of pentacles for the collective? Yeah, effort. Conquering your demons. You conquered a lot of demons. Like I said, seven of pentacles. You're working on your money. You're conquering demons, slaying demons, keeping people at bay, only um, fucking with who fucking with you, okay? You're not really fucking with nobody, but you can also be a life path number seven or the month of January. January must be very significant. We already said that. But you could be a life path number seven or the month of July could be very significant, or your birthday could be the seventh of any month, okay? Clarify the six of wands, please. What's the six of wands? What's the leadership? Yeah, somebody mad because you took the leadership on something. You walked away from something. You bettered yourself. And some people don't like to better yourself with themselves. Okay, you hold a lot of knowledge and wisdom. Everything is black and white with you. No gray areas. So you took the leadership. Yeah, you got the leadership because you know something. God put you in the leadership. God hired you. Nobody can fire you. Okay, somebody mad because you cannot be fired or defeated. And these people, they need a group of people to go up against you. They can't do it by themselves. Okay, they're weak sauce out here. What's the leverage, Gemini energy? Thank you. Yeah, rebirth. Giving yourself a second chance. The lovers. This lover did not work out for you, but you're giving yourself another chance. You're not going to give up on love. You're not giving up today. We're not giving up on our dreams and our goals. You're not giving up on that. You could be 22 years old, or your birthday could be the 22nd any month, or you could have walked away from somebody that's 22. But at the end of the day, you're not giving up on love. You know, love is coming in for you. And love is the universal law, okay? Seven of Cups challenge. Like I said, you accepted some kind of challenge, 12-12 on a timer. Standing up for your rights, Seven of Cups. You knew you could do better. You knew better, so you did better, okay? You knew this person wasn't for you, 12-26 on a timer. You got options out here. Your, your lucky number could be 13 too, but you definitely said challenge it. Challenge accepted. <clears throat> you accepted something. You wasn't accepting their bullshit, but you accepted that challenge they tried to throw at you. Okay, 1242 on the timer. What's the eight of swords? Who's feeling stuck? Protection. Yeah, eight of swords. This person's naked out here from throwing all that magic. They're not protected. This person, when they was with you, they was protected. But now that they're not in your energy, they're not protected, baby. Eight of swords. They're scared. Okay, this person's worried about something. They could be 26 or you could be 26. Let's clarify the Six of Pentacles. One more card for the collective. Six of Pentacles energy, please. What is the Six of Pentacles? Thank you. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Trust, love, and friendship. A person from the past that you fell out of love with. A person that you could have been lovers and friends with. Usher John and Ludacris kind of energy, okay? You could be 25 or you could have met this person when you was 25. Or the 25th of any month could be significant. Okay, but yeah, you and yeah, Six of Pentacles. This person was also making you feel broke or leaving you feeling broke. 1333, you never had a lot of money with this person. Yeah, this person's mad because you're very resourceful. It's Scorpio energy. You have resources, you're brave, you're brilliant, you walked away from a situation, you did better. Okay, we're gonna pull a couple of names and a couple of messages from this person. Energy from this person, please. Ooh. You know, somebody keep getting drunk, drinking a lot of Remy crying and i feel like if this person drinks they cry a lot yeah this person might want to go ring shopping and go buy you a ring somebody said that you got that wop okay they feel like that you got some good sex this person might only want to come back around because of sex okay 14 10 so be careful with that this capricorn devil energy this obsessive energy 14 14 on the timer this is a lot yeah divine masculine is buying a home for y'all. So this person might want to buy a house or try to get you to stay somehow. I did say Stacy in the beginning. Somebody's name could be Stacy. Yeah, somebody want to move in with you. Like I said, said you could have moved in with this person already or this could be somebody new, but you could have moved in with them on 10, 10, 9, 11. It could be coming up March 21st. Confirmation, okay, or 112, January 12th. Somebody wants to live with you. Somebody's last name could be Campbell, okay. 
Yo body, it's that yo body all over my body. Somebody want to get a new house and make babies. Kingsley, somebody's last name could be Kingsley as well. Somebody's name could be Maya, Ethan. Yeah, but your love is like honey out here. This person knows they fucked up. Okay, Ethan, you got somebody named Isis. Okay, you got Bianca could be very significant. And Divine Feminine don't work a job. She is a job. This person tried to make you feel like um, you might have had to work two jobs with this person, but this person had to realize you're not working a job. You are the job. So they're starting to see that fucking with you is not like a lot of work, but you have maintenance. You have things that you have to keep up with. You know, the way you touch my body feels like ooh wee. This person's thinking about a lot of sex that you guys had together in the past. Yeah, but there's a divine masculine coming, okay? Things are going to be moving quickly for this person and for you when y'all when y'all meet each other. It's going to happen right now in the autumn time because we are in the month of November. It is still autumn. Yeah, somebody gets very weak to the knees when they talk about you, see you, or think about you, okay? They want to know if you're ready, though. And they want to know where do you stand? And they could ask you this around 11, 11, okay? Or 1, 11, January 11th. They want to know something, okay? And they say God is good all the time. They feel like you're a blessing to have, okay? Somebody name could be Ezekiel, 14, 14 on the timer. Bailey, somebody could be drinking Bailey's Irish cream, or that could be somebody's name. Emmanuel could be very significant, 12, 23 on the timer. Lloyd. Yeah, you guys might be taking a walk through the park. 202 is Washington, D.C., okay? Something about the election could be very significant. Divine Feminine got that now and that later, okay? Somebody named David could be significant. But your ships have arrived. Whatever you're doing, it's coming in for you. It did say coming in quickly, 1243. Somebody is very sincere that's coming towards you. That could be their name. Somebody named Amber could be very significant, or your name could be Amber. Divine feminine, you classy. Divine feminine, too classy for you. So I feel like you might be too classy for this person, but they feel like you're a fairy tale love story, or they might want to come in and see some kind of illusion. 1702, they pray and dream about women like you. Okay, 1707, I love to see you in the thong. This person might want to, they might picture you or fantasize a lot. Okay, they think that you're very fun sized and petite. And divine feminine, I do. So whatever they do, 1717, whatever they ask you, you're going to agree. Okay, it looks like it's a wedding ring. I'm hearing some wedding bells. There could be some kind of announcement or something. What's the energy? Ooh, okay. Somebody named Baldwin could be significant. Divine Feminine always get a bag. You know how to make these bitches mad. Okay, so the karmics that they deal with know that you get money or something. Yeah, Divine Feminine is money, money longer than mine. So this person, well, they know if they come towards you, they don't have what you have. They don't have the kind of money that you have, okay? Somebody's name could be Brooke. Brooke could be very significant. I'm sick from all the magic. Your spirit team is fucking me up. Yeah, somebody's spirit team is fucking them up. So whoever tried to have a demise or play a part in a demise for you, they're sick because of that. But they want to come towards you, okay? Divine Feminine has a big booty, perky titties. And somebody else's is saggy and swinging. So they starting to, like, compare your body to somebody else's. Yeah, they live on Section 8. Divine Feminine owns her own house. I'm very jealous. So one of these karmics is coming out. They're very jealous of how you how you live, how you take care of your house, your baby, how your body looking. But they're sick from doing all this magic. And with the blue, that's spiritual communication, okay? Divine Feminine makes money in her sleep. They don't even make money while they're awake. Ooh, okay. She doesn't, it says, she doesn't let me low vibe and energy. Yeah, she doesn't let low vibe and energy penetrate her aura. 